There was a cracker of a game in the CCC 10 quarterfinals, once again on chess.com. This game, it's Leela Chess Zero playing white against Komodo MC. And this is a slightly different version of Komodo, apparently inspired by Alpha Zero and Leela Chess Zero. So it's not as strong as the original Komodo engine, but still it would smash any other human player. So we get into a quite an interesting game straight away. So the book plays out d4, knight to f6, c4, b6, f3, and knight c6. And here now Leela plays knight to c3. And after Komodo plays e5, and d5 is played by Leela, so Leela hits the knight on c6 and it drops back to b8. Now this is a very familiar position to me because it's very similar to the black knight's tango. And the point of black's plan now is to play moves like a5, to allow bishop c5, and then play d6 and develop from there, maybe play knight a6 at some point. So black's plan is relatively simple. The only problem is it's very passive for black, and white now does actually get quite a good kingside attack. e4 is played by Leela, so black plays a5, continuing this plan. Basically a5 stops white from playing b4. Leela plays bishop d3, and Komodo plays bishop to c5, so this bishop on c5 is nicely placed, stops white from castling kingside. The only problem is if white ever plays queen e2 and bishop to e3, that's the way to counteract this move. Leela plays h4, preparing a kingside attack, and black continues their plan with knight to a6. White plays knight g to e2, and black now very bravely castles in this position. And Leela just gets straight on with her attack. She plays g4, pushing these two pawns right up the board. I believe this prepares the move g5. So to avoid this, black plays knight to e8. So I think this is very logical. But white now continues the attack, plays knight to g3, prepares moves like knight to f5, and gain uh, an amazing kingside attack. Knight d6 is played by black, stopping knight to f5. For instance, if white plays knight f5 here, Black can capture, and if G takes, they can play H6, and the bishop on C5 stands really well, stopping any rook G1 ideas. If queen E2, then queen E7. White can, of course, try bishop to E3 to get rid of this bishop. King H7, and white could castle queenside. But after knight B4, and bishop to B1, bishop to A6, I think white is actually better due to the open G file, against black's king. But black may still have some chances, especially because the bishop on b1 is quite badly placed. In the game though, after knight d6, Leela played king f1, and now black played bishop to d4. I'm trying to trade this bishop off for the knight on c3, but Leela's not having that. She plays knight to e2, hitting the bishop on d4. But now black can play a move like c5 and secure this bishop on d4 with two pawns. I don't think white wants to take the c-pawn, just due to the fact that after d takes c6, it's a very even position now because the queen actually gets some scope on this d-file. So after c5, white now plays knight to f5, hitting the knight on d6. Komodo takes this knight off, and Leela captures with the e-pawn. I think more logical looking obviously looks g takes f5, but according to Stockfish this isn't as good as e takes. This is due to the fact black can play d6, if white plays a move like a3, stopping any knight b4 ideas, black plays bishop d7, and once again black's got a really good bishop on d4. Again white is still slightly better, but white's going to have trouble attacking the black king side when this g1 square is covered by this powerful bishop. So Leela took with the e pawn, giving some space on e4. Black plays f6, trying to block everything up. Leela plays king to g2, and black continues to block everything with d6. This allows maybe rook a7 as well from black to try and protect their position, which will be very nice. Leela played bishop to e4. Just solidifying everything together. Bishop d7 was played by Komodo and now a4 so white is also trying to block everything up. Black plays queen to e7 and white plays rook to e1. 
So the idea for white now is to try and push this F pawn and put some pressure on this E file. So that seems to be the plan. Black plays knight to b4 with a very nice outpost for the knight. Leela played rook to a3. So developing the rook this way. And after f4 it'll probably swing across to either g3 or h3 and continue the attack. Rook fc8 was played by black. And now Leela has to make a choice. She could continue with more solid approaches like knight to c3, king h8, bishop d2, rook g8, king c1 and maybe rook ab8 but this is really slow and it'll take a while for anything to happen in the game if uh, Leela approaches it this way. So after rook fc8 she actually just plays straight away f4 hitting this e5 pawn in the centre. So if black takes the pawn this would be an absolutely diabolical move, absolutely terrible. Just due to knight takes f4 and the knight's going to jump into e6 secured by these two pawns. So if rook e8 knight to e6 White's plan is simple, he's going to play g5, h5, drop that rook on a3 to h3 or g3, and this bishop on c1 is also very powerful. If black ever takes this, f takes e6 we played, and this just unleashes white's bishop. Uh, black could probably resign in this position. There's literally no way to counteract white's attack. So after f4, black didn't take this pawn, instead Komodo played rook to e8. So trying to solidify their centre, but the tension is built up now, and rook g3 is now played by Leela, continuing her kingside advance. Queen d8 getting off the e-file, and Leela takes on e5 with the pawn, and the rook captures, so threatening the bishop on e4, but this is swiftly counteracted with knight to f4, and white's plan is ever so simple, jumping the knight back to e6. Black plays queen e8, and white plays knight to e6. Bishop takes a4 was actually given as the best move for black here, but after b3 and the bishop retreats back, white's just going to play g5, and black's in a terrible position. This rook on e5 looks stranded at the moment, and bishop f4 will become and win the exchange easily. So after f takes g, bishop takes, bishop takes e6, and d takes e6. The bishop on e4 is unleashed, after rook a7, white can simply play bishop to f4, and they're going to win the exchange and take that rook on e5. So instead of taking on a4, black takes a knight on e6, but again this leaves the rook stranded on e5. Leela takes with the f-pawn, g6 is played, and now just bishop to f4, and the rook is trapped on e5. So Komodo is in a terrible position now. White's even got a connected past e-pawn on the 6th rank, so that's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, black could probably resign in this position, to be quite honest. Komodo continues though, plays queen e7. Leela captures the rook on e5. The bishop recaptures. And Leela plays rook h3. Komodo continues with some counterplay. Bishop takes b2. But h5 comes now from Leela. And after g5, black's trying to um, block everything up. But now white has total domination over these white squares. They just play bishop to b1. And this knight is stuck on b4, not really doing anything at the moment. I was wondering what would happen if maybe black tries to solidify with h6. But now white can actually play bishop g6, preparing bishop f7. If rook f8, queen b1 hits the bishop. If the bishop retreats, white can sack the exchange back with rook takes e5. If f takes e5, bishop f7 check. And black's forced to give back another exchange. So rook takes f7, e takes f7, queen takes. After rook f3, white's got control of the f file. If queen e7 and then queen g6 check, and the game will be swiftly over after queen g7, queen e6 check. And if king h7, rook f7, and white's won black's queen. So after bishop b1, as we said, the knight on b4 is stranded. Instead of playing h6, black played bishop to d4, and white now just finishes black off. We continue with h6, b5 is played, a takes b5, and black actually sacks a piece with knight takes d5. After c takes d5, black plays a4. So this is their only counterplay, trying to get a pawn to a1, but it's probably not going to work. After b6, a3, white calmly plays bishop to a2 and blocks the pawn advance. Komodo continued with f5, 
But after g takes f5 and bishop f6, this looks like it's hopelessly lost for black. They play b7 from Leela. Queen takes b7 and rook to b3. So white's gained another open file. Queen e7, rook to e4. And these three pawns in the center are just dominating black's position. And there's nowhere for black to go. After rook f8, white takes on a3. Black's just given material up now with c4. Bishop takes c4 from Leela and rook b8. Rook a4, bishop g7. So Komodo's just prolonging the inevitable now. H takes g7, queen f6, white plays e7. Rook e8 to block and bishop b5 hitting the rook. And Komodo sacrifices the queen. The rook captures. After rook c8, rook a7, rook c3. Rook e8 is checkmate and Leela Chess Zero wins the game against Komodo MC. So that was an excellent fighting game against Komodo from Leela. I'm not really sure where black went wrong. But after king f1 from white, the evaluation shifted really quickly after black played bishop to d4. So I think this is actually a big mistake. According to Stockfish, black maybe should have continued with either c6 here or knight to b4. c6 seems very logical, trying to undermine white's center. White could have continued with a3. And maybe black can play bishop to b7 here. And play would obviously continue. Where white's got a kingside attack. And black's probably going to try and strike out in the centre. And counteract this. But anyway this is a very solid game from Leela. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. Please drop me a like, comment or subscribe to the channel. If you want to watch more chess videos in the future. And please also let me know if you want me to analyse any games. Or send me some of your own games to have a look at. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.